I moved a total of three times today. I moved from the city of Kapufu to the city of Muesli. Oh, I think that's a cereal. Um, then from the train station to this neighborhood, and then from that chair to this chair, because that chair had a stain on it that looked like a jelly bean, and I hate jelly beans. I met a lot of new people. This morning, a nice lady brought us a cake as a housewarming gift. The cake was super delicious. I bet she likes placing her hand on fresh sponge cakes and pushing it down to see it rise back up again. I bet she loves snapping little gingerbread men in half and gluing them back together, like surgery. And also likes to neatly organize her boxes of sprinkles and edible glitter in a line in front of her before she begins decorating. I'm pretty sure she adds a sprinkle of sugar on top of all her cakes. Oh, and another thing. Her eyes crinkle at the ends when she smiles, and it's really pretty. There's also this man who keeps arriving with jars of milk at our door. Dad calls him the milkman. Anyway, he's nice, but he stinks. He smells a lot like bell peppers. I bet he tries really, really hard to rub the stink away with a yellow sponge, but when he does, the shampoo turns all purple, so he gives up. I bet he also lives in a little fort with his pet guinea pig and his stuffed dragon. There's another man who comes to our house every day to help us with our boxes. Dad says I should be thankful, but I don't feel thankful. He keeps eyeing my favorite sticker. I bet he keeps a collection of stickers stolen from 12-year-old girls in a journal that he hides under his bed. I bet he's going to steal mine during afternoon snack as I'm sipping my milk from my favorite pink plastic cup going, but I can always keep one eye open. Ha, try stealing my sticker now. On my way to school, I saw this little boy with cute square glasses walking on the other side of the street. I bet he's very quiet and shy. He has those cool red shoes that I've been begging my dad to buy me for the longest time ever, but his are all dirty and worn out, so I'll forgive him. I bet he doesn't even know how to spell the word handkerchief. I do though, it's spelled H-A-N-D-C-E-R C-H-E-E-F, handkerchief. I learned how to spell that all on my own, by the way. I met the most scariest and creepiest woman the other day at the thrift store near my house. She had long, orange, manicured fingernails and strangely shaped sunglasses hiding her mustard yellow eyes. I bet she makes bubbly green goop to drink afterwards as dessert. She probably also hypnotizes people with a pendulum and makes them play the piano for her. I bet she crouches in the darkest corner of her kitchen eating bloody mice. Ugh. <laughs> Dad? I hate cake! Hey Bear, I got these for you. Why don't you give that back? Uh, I'm sorry. I bet she...